The desperate rush to plug the leaking oil well in the Gulf of Mexico has come down to this. It's called Top Kill, and it may begin within hours. BP plans to pump very dense fluid into the site to smother the oil flow. If, and it's a huge if, if it works, and BP says the chances are only about 60 to 70 percent, the well could then be sealed with concrete. Seeing as David Mattingly is tracking all of this for us, said, David, what's going on behind the scenes right now? And, and more important, what's going on under the water? Wolf, they're giving their very last important look at all the equipment that they have down there. They're doing pressure testing. Essentially, this is an operation where they're going to try and drown the well with heavy liquid. So they have to make sure that everything inside their equipment down there, inside that blowout preventer that we've heard about, can take the pressure that they're trying to exert and push that oil back and hold it in place while they later try to cement that well. Anything they find right now that gives them pause could delay this operation. But right now, they are testing everything to make sure that their equipment can handle this top kill. What about what's going on under the water, uh, David, right now? Wolf, underneath the water, the blowout preventer has five access points for all of this liquid that they they're going to try to pump into that. So they're testing the pressure, the connections with each of those five locations to find out how best to put that liquid in there, how much they can pump in there, how fast. And again, it's all about the pressure. How much pressure can their equipment down there take and will it be enough to push that oil back? Those are the questions they're trying to answer. And if the answer is yes, they will have a great deal more confidence as they go forward and try this top kill. David Mattingly is on the scene for us. We're only hours away from this effort. Let's hope it succeeds.